fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's trouble on the trail ahead. The Lone Ranger and Tonto brought their horses to a stop at sunset and looked from the highest point on a long ridge into the valley to the west. Oh, oh, Silver, oh, Silver, oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is Big Ridge, Tonto. Ah. Uh, where we go from here? Dorothy Travis told me we'd find our brother in a cave just west of the Big Ridge. Uh, that must be close by. It can't be far from here. This is the only trail across the ridge. Uh, we go on now? Oh, wait a minute, Tonto. What matter? I'm going on alone. You wait here. Well, why me stay back? Because I suspect something unusual about this trip. There's more to it than Dorothy told us. Oh, her not tell much. No, she simply said that her brother was in hiding because he thought he'd committed a murder. He didn't commit one. There's been no killing in Crawford Gap for months. Well, what matter then? Why we not just find a brother and tell him to come back? Because a girl didn't tell the truth. Not tell truth? She has no brother. Oh. That fellow in hiding is not Travis. Now, wait here, Kimosabe, while I go ahead. Come on, boy. Tonto watched the masked man guide Silver down the trail on the west slope of the big ridge. As the hoofbeats faded back, the Indians saw the Lone Ranger jerk in the saddle. Then he heard the bark of a pistol. The Lone Ranger fell. Get him up, Scout! Get back there! Get back, I'll shoot you too! You shoot too much! Get back! Get back! Let me fix you! Stop! Look out! Don't! Oh. Don't! <coughs> And fix him. Let me take a look at Lone Ranger. Uh, bullet hit shoulder. Knock him off saddle. Head hit ground. Bad bump. He, he carry him to water. Carrying the unconscious form of the Lone Ranger, Tonto went to a fast-running mountain stream. He laid the masked man on the ground and administered first aid while Silver stood close by, watching. Oh, him get better, Silver. And bad bump. Bullet hit him hard. Him need plenty long rest. Uh, Travis get conscious. Me look at him now. What? Well, what? Help me out. Uh, you, Injun, don't. 
Don't kill me. Don't do it, please. Ah, uh, you drive, Goucher. You shoot from ambush. But I... You shoot Lone Ranger. Oh. No, I didn't. I didn't shoot the Lone Ranger. That lie. That, that man, he ain't the Lone Ranger. What do you think him name? Well, he's the killer. He, he was coming here to get me. That's the truth. Oh, tell me he's the killer. Tell me he's the one who was gunning for me. Him not killer. Oh. Oh, what have I done? What did I do? Is he dead? No, him not dead. But that not your fault. Oh, let me help you with him. I got a cave right near here. Uh, we can take him there. Me, no. I, I fired from the mouth of the cave right over there. Uh, oh. oh, my head feels like it was busted from the way you hit me. You stand all right? Yeah, yeah I'm all right. A little dizzy, that's all. Honest, I, I didn't know it was the Lone Ranger. You got to believe that. I thought it was the killer coming to get me. We talk about that by and by. I'll take the masked man's feet. You take his head. No. You lead way to cave. Me carry Lone Ranger. But I... Uh, well, all right, then. What have you, you say, Injun? Mm, me, Tonto. Tonto. Yes, I've heard about you. The friend of the Lone Ranger. <coughs> now, you go first. Yes, Tonto. Just follow me. He'll be sheltered here in the cave. Uh, him be all right. Need plenty rest. Gee, I'm sure glad I didn't shoot straighter. Well, what are you going to do with me now? Now, you get out of cave. Go back to Crawford Gap. Go, go back? Oh, no, no, I can't do that. Why? Because they're hunting me. They're hunting me for murder, and I'm innocent. I didn't do it. Uh, you clear out of cave. Go back to Gap. You not murder. Yeah, that's what I say. I'm not a murderer. Nobody murder. Nobody dead. Who said so? Oh, uh, you know a girl named Dorothy Travis? Yeah, her last name's the same as mine, Travis. You brother? No, I'm not related at all. Just having our names are the same. Girl, say you brother. Send Lone Ranger here. Bring message to you. She said she was my sister? Ah. Uh. But why'd she say that? It's not true. Uh, me not know. Oh, look. Let me tell you just what happened in town in Crawford's Gap. Ah. Uh. I had a partner there named McDuffie. I called him Mac. The two of us had an equal stake in a gold mine. We lived in a little cabin on the edge of town. Both of us worked the claim and spent the evenings in town at the cafe where Dorothy worked. She waited on tables and sang and all that sort of thing. I didn't think I was in love with Dorothy and neither did Mac. We never thought much about it. We were too much concerned with getting to the pay dirt in our claim. Then Mac busted his arm. He carried it in a sling and spent more time with Dorothy because he had all day when I was working the claim. Mm. And then... The other evening, the two of us were in the cafe. How's your arm, Mac? Oh, it's all right. It doesn't bother me much. This afternoon, you said it was hurting. Oh, not much. It's better now. Were you here again today, Mac? Sure, why? Oh, nothing. You hadn't mentioned it. There didn't seem to be any reason to mention it. You don't mind, do you? No, no, of course not. Travis don't mind what I do, do you, partner? No, of course not. I, I don't mind. As a matter of fact, it's given him a good chance to practice with his bow and arrow. That's not Travis. What, what has? Am I having a busted arm? You see, Dorothy keeps an Indian bow and some flint-tipped arrows at the mouth of our tunnel. Whenever he gets a chance, he does some practicing. Oh, yes, you told me about that. Mighty powerful bow, too. Takes a strong man to pull it. <laughs> What's the idea, Travis? Guns are better than a bow and arrow. Oh, I just sort of like using a bow. Fact is, Dorothy, I don't know but what there's... Well, there's times that a bow and arrow's better than a gun. <laughs> I don't see how that can be. Well, if a man wants to do murder, for example, without making a noise, or, or if you're shooting it out in the dark with someone, a gun makes a flash. But you can't see where an arrow comes from. Wait. What's the matter? Dan Hendricks just came in. An ornery, tight-fisted buzzard, the dirty skin <laughs> There's a critter for you to try out your bow and arrow on, Travis. You lazy louch. Spending all your time here instead of working that claim. Now, hold on, Hendricks. Mr. Hendricks. You keep out of this, Dorothy. I want a showdown. Oh, now, see here, Hendricks. Shut we... up, you pipsqueak. Why, are you... I'll do the talking. Sit down. What's the matter with you, Hendricks? You're always poison ugly, but tonight you're boiling up higher than ever. I'm sick and tired of the way you two are working that claim. I financed the proposition with the understanding that half of the thing was mine, the other half divided between you two, and you two were to do the work. All right, so that's what we're doing. Work? <laughs> you with a busted arm, frittering away your time around here with that girl. Leave her out of this. You don't expect Mac to work with a busted arm. You, Travis, here every evening instead of getting plenty of sleep. I bet you don't get started to work till hours after day or bake. Fine thing. Well, I've got ways to get you working. If that claim don't start to pay by the first of the month, you're through. Both of you. 
What do you mean? Through. That's what I said. If you don't think I'm in my rights, read the agreement you signed. If the gold vein ain't hit by the first of the month, I got the right to cancel our agreement and take over the property. Mac, did you know about that? No. I never read the contract all the way through. Neither did I. I took your word for it that it was all in good shape, all in order. That's all I got to say. You two better get to work. So you see, Tonto, there was plenty of reason for Mac or me to get rid of that mean old skin flint. Oh, what happened next? Well, Dorothy and Mac stayed in the cafe and I went under the shack where me and Mac lived. I don't know how long I'd been asleep when Mac roused me, shaking me and sounded mighty excited. Wake up, Travis. You've got to skin out of town. You doggone fool. Why'd you do it? Oh, what? Uh, I've been here asleep since I left the cafe. You can tell me the truth. I know all about it. You killed Hendricks. Why in tarnation did you use the bow and arrow? Bow and arrow? He's dead on a doornail. And Vic and Daggard know it. Vic? Yes, the dirty crook. Daggard? The more ornery pair never breathed than those two. But I'll fix them. They'll keep their mouths shut if I pay them. But you've got to get out of town till things quiet down. Go into hiding. Me hiding? No, right now, before morning. But, but, Mac, I didn't do anything. I didn't kill Hendricks. No, 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 of course not. But I didn't. I tell you, I didn't. I've got things all packed. Now go to the cave west of the ridge and hide there. Hurry up now. Get in some clothes and start moving. I'll cover you. There was no use arguing with Mac. Even he thought I'd kill Hendricks. Ah, you used bow and arrow. Well, that was one point against me. The fact that Hendricks was killed with a stone-tipped arrow. Another fact was that I was about the only one to benefit by his death. Well, a fella named Mac, him benefit too. He couldn't be suspicion, though, because he had a busted arm. You shoot when Lone Ranger comes Oh, look, Tonto, you gotta believe me when I say I don't know half what I was doing. Mac told me those two rats, Vic and Daggert, might be the real killers trying to frame me. I thought they were the ones that were coming here. I thought I'd wing them and force the truth out of them. Dorothy, send Lone Ranger, say Hendricks, not dead. But why'd Mac tell me he was? Uh, Me not know that. Me not know other facts. You come back to town. We start now. Travis rode into town with Tonto a short distance behind. Oh, Travis. Travis, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Dorothy, you sent word. They're looking all over for you. The sheriff. There he is now. Hey there, Travis. I want you. Sheriff. Dorothy, I didn't do well, anything. Come back here, Travis. Well, the hangman's holding a rope for you. Well, Sheriff, I didn't kill anyone. You have your day in court. There he is, Sheriff. That's the critter. We seen him do it. Sheriff, he's the one. Vic, you lie. Maybe you think I lie, too. You do, Daggett. You're. Oh, oh, it'll do, Daggett. Tell me I lie, huh? I'll show him. No, don't hit him again, Daggett. Oh. Dorothy, you sent the Lone Ranger. I thought you were innocent, Travis. I didn't want you to be a fugitive. Then Vic and Daggett came in and said they'd seen you kill Hendricks. Two eyewitnesses on top of the rest, Travis. Is about all we need. Now march toward the jail. With Travis in jail, the town hummed with talk about the Hendricks murder. Vic and Daggett were important men as witnesses and spent the evening in the cafe. Daggett lingered for some time after his partner left. Then he, too, made his way unsteadily toward the shack in which he lived. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. Uh, Vic must be asleep. He might have left a lamp for me. Hey, you. Vic, what's the matter with you? Why are you sleeping so soon? What's the matter? Can't you hear me? Doggone it, can't see a thing. Find me a light. You might have busted my toe. Oh, here's a match. Vic, what the Sam Hill happened to you? Why are you sprawling? Vic, maybe he ain't dead yet. Get the candle lighted, and then I... You. No. No, don't do it. Wait. Oh. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The cafe was alive with a late crowd talking about the Hendricks murder when Mac came in with an announcement. Boys, boys, he's escaped. He's broke out of jail. Oh, oh, Travis, somebody get the sheriff. Hurry it up. We've got to form a posse and find him before he gets away. Mac, you've turned on your partner. I don't want to kill her for a partner. What's this I hear? Here's the sheriff. Mac will tell you, Sheriff. You, Mac. Sheriff, I was just over the jail. I wanted to try and persuade Travis to come clean and tell the truth. I thought being his friend for all these years, I might have some influence with him. Go on. You say he got out? Yes. The lock was busted. Oh, how could he do it? How do I know? He had to have help to bust that lock. Was it broken from the outside? I didn't stop to look. I came here as fast as I could. Mac, I can't savvy you. Why not? You were Travis' partner and friend for a mighty long time. Well, sure I was. What about it? Now you've turned on him. If he killed Hendrix, so he and me could have Hendrix share the gold mine. What's to stop him from killing me sometime? Oh, Mac, don't mention such a thing. I tell you, Sheriff, he's been acting funny for a long time. I didn't say anything about it, but... Ever since he started practicing with that bow and arrow, he's been talking murder. Hmm. How's your busted arm? Why are you asking that? Just curious. The doc told me it was really a bad break. Did you have any notion that I was faking it? Well, no, I reckon not. If you aim to find Travis, you better start a search. Yep, I guess that's the thing to do. Boys, I want volunteers for a manhunt. Those that are ready, just step right outside. <laughs> While the posse was being formed, Tonto hurried out of town. He rode hard through the night, heading toward the big ridge. Get him up, scout! Much later in the night, the Indian returned to the vicinity and dismounted at the edge of an arroyo. Oh, scout, hold on, hold Travis, Travis, me come, me here. Me get gagged loose in a minute. There. Tonto. Oh, quiet. Me leave notes, plenty notes for Lone Ranger. Go back to cave again. Him say, come and let you loose. But who slugged me and brought me here from jail? Did you do it? No. You wait. You hide near cave. Me go there again. Talk to Lone Ranger. There. Yeah. Yeah. Rope cut now. You go high. Yeah. What's the latest thing that's happened? Uh, plenty happened. You hear by and by. Me ride fast now. Get him up, scout! Tonto crept silently into the cave on the side of the big ridge. In the darkness, he heard the voice of the Lone Ranger. Don't light the candle, Tonto. It isn't necessary. Oh, me take a look at Woom. Oh, it's all right. I examined it before darkness set in. Mm, your voice sound heap better. I'm all right. But you not ride yet. No, I won't try to ride unless it's necessary. It's not necessary. You tell Tonto what to do and me do it. Well, I've been spending a lot of time making plans, Kimosabe. I think we can smash the game of those crooks in town. Mm -hmm, that'd be plenty good. You read all message? Yes. You gave me a pretty complete story of the way things stand. Ah. Uh, one of several men might be the crook we want. It's going to take some mighty careful handling to make him tip his hand. That's right. Will you get my saddlebag, Tonto? Right over there. Ah. Let me find it. It's pretty dark here in the cave. Got it? Uh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we got it. Uh, what me do? I'll take the saddlebag with you. Inside, you'll find the plans all written, as well as everything you'll need to carry them out. If you need help, let me know. Me handle things all right. You stay here. Let wound heal. I can manage to ride if you need help. Remember that. Uh -huh. On your way now, Kimosabe, and good luck to you. In the cafe, though the hour was late, a crowd still lingered to discuss the most recent development, the escape of Travis. At a table in the corner, Mac and Dorothy sat awaiting news. Well, how far from town do you think the posse will travel, Mac? Not very far, Dorothy. It's too dark. They won't waste time if they don't find Travis in one of the known hiding places. Oh, I see. They'll come back here and start out after daybreak to try and find a trail. You think they'll find one? Well, I'll tell you. When the sheriff gets back, I've got a suggestion for him. Oh? Huh? What's the suggestion? Remember the two men who claimed to have seen him use the bow and arrow on Hendricks? Sure, Vic and Taggart. What about it? Well, don't it seem logical to you that he'd go after them? Mm, would he? They're the only ones who could testify as eyewitnesses. Mac, hmm? Travis isn't a killer type. Oh, shucks. What is a killer type? Who can say what type of man is a killer? Any man could be called a killer type and vice versa. Look at the, look at the situation. Yes, I know, but... Hendricks owned half the claim. The other half was divided between me and Travis. If Hendricks lived, he'd take our share away from us. And he'd do it, too. He's just that sort of skinflint. 
Or was, I should say. With Hendricks gone, the claim is all ours, mine and Travis. And it's just about due to hit the pay dirt, too. I know, you told me. We couldn't hit the pay dirt before the first of the month, though. So Hendricks would have got the layout. That's reason enough for Travis to murder him. Why, well, the law would be suspicious as all get out of me if Hendricks had been shot with a gun. Well, you couldn't handle a bow, though. Well, hardly, not with one hand. Especially those powerful bows that Travis played around with. You spoke of Vic and Daggett. Yeah. Do you think Travis is likely to go after them? I'm going to suggest the sheriff take a look around their place. Funny he didn't think of that in the first place. Well, he might have if he hadn't felt that Travis would try to get as far from town as he could. Honey, do you know where I'll stand when I get Travis? Sure I do. I'll own the whole of the claim, the whole of it. It'll pay rich. Every ounce of gold in it will be mine. Maybe I should say ours. You'll be rich, Mac. A mighty rich man. And then I'm... Mac. Hmm? Look. That red skin. See him? The one that just came in? Sure. What about it? That's the friend of the Lone Ranger. Oh. His name's Tonto. What's he here for? What's that he's got with him? It looks like a saddlebag. It is a saddlebag. He's heading for this table. I thought he left town with the Lone Ranger. Well, maybe he left, but he sure is back right now. What's on your mind, Redskin? Oh. Me. Me look for you. What? For me? Ah. What for? Where's your friend with the mask? And uh, Did you get the man I told you about? Well, him come back to town. You know that. Well, he's not in town now. Say, maybe you and the Lone Ranger are the ones that broke him out of the jail. How about that, Redskin? Did you do it? Did you let him out of jail? Well, you say Travis not guilty. Travis not do murder. Well, I... I you say we tell him nobody dead. Well, you see, I made a mistake. I didn't know about it. Uh, Travis not killer, Henrik. Who says he isn't? Lone Ranger say so. Him send message to Sheriff. Him send proof to Sheriff. Proof here in Saddlebag. Oh, it is, huh? Ah. Where is Sheriff now? Uh, he's out on the trail hunting for Travis. Well, this man is Travis's partner. His name's Mac. Maybe he can help you, Tonto. Uh, let me see what you've got to show the Sheriff. Oh, well, this bag only for Sheriff. You find him? Me? Ah. Oh, sure, sure, I can find the Sheriff. Just leave that bag with me and I'll see if he gets it. You know, it wouldn't do for you to be found here, Tano, because uh, well, the men with the sheriff would think that you were the one that let Travis out of jail. Well, maybe you did. Well, even so, we don't want him to hang for it. He's the partner of the Lone Ranger, isn't he? Yes. Then if he did let Travis out, he knows what he's doing and why he did it. Yeah, you leave that bag here, Tano, and get away before the sheriff comes back. Mm. All right, me leave it. Good luck to you. Give our regards to the Lone Ranger. Ah, uh, me do that. Well, what's in the bag? Give me a chance to open it and find out. Get the Redskin out of the cafe now. Yeah, he's gone. Hurry it up. Something about that critter that I don't... Hello, what's this? Well, it looks like a message of some sort. It's in handwriting. Here's a stone arrowhead. A Redskin style of arrowhead. Some feathers from an Indian arrow. Now, that's downright odd. What's the letter say? Yeah, to the sheriff. He tells the sheriff to study... Dorothy. What's the matter with you? Dorothy, I've got to get away from here. Take care of something. I've got to hurry before the sheriff gets back. Well, is there anything wrong? No, but there'll be plenty wrong if I don't take care of things right pronto. In the night, a figure crept through the woods to the shack where Daggett and Vic lived before they were murdered. He opened the door softly, then stood listening. Quiet. Better if I do things in the dark. The shadowed figure moved across the room, then felt gropingly in the darkness. This is one of them. Dirty crook, he got what was coming oh. to him. What's that? All right, boys, let's have the lights. Hey, what's this? And where you are, Mac. The sheriff. Get more lights going, boys. Get the critter covered. Don't you make a move, Mac. Mac, Mac they brought me here. That redskin didn't leave the cafe. He waited outside till you'd gone, then he came in. What's this mean, Sheriff? What are you doing here? Look, it's Vic and Daggett. They, they've both been shot. Mac, you're a liar. There ain't been a shot at all. They have. It was Travis. Look at the arrows, both of them. Travis, eh? I never would have thought you'd double cross and frame me like this. Travis. You here? You bet I'm here. I'm here to clear my name. Sheriff, you know the truth? I do. Oh, wait, let me talk. You're the one that got Travis out of the jail, Mac. And you slugged him and left him hogtied. Tonto watched the whole thing. He told me about it. You uh, meddling uh, redskin. Uh, 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 uh. You go ahead, Sheriff. Tell him more. Tonto uh, had uh, orders uh, from the Lone Ranger who heard the whole story. Tonto brought that saddlebag and left it with you. 
The Lone Ranger reasoned that if you was as guilty as he thought you was, you'd open her up and then come here. I came here to see if Travis... Ah, that's too thin. Tonto saw you leaving here a while ago. He told me we'd find Vic and Daggard here murdered. You bribed them to lie. They were murdered the same as Hendricks was. I can't shoot an arrow. The arrow wasn't shot, Mac. It was stabbed. That's a lie. We've got you, Travis. Got you good. The Lone Ranger put a stone point and Indian arrow feathers in that bag with a note telling how the feathers make an arrow spin like a bullet when it's shot from a bow. He said that if the nature of the wounds in these two didn't show evidence of the arrow turning when it hit, then it would show that the arrow was used like a dagger and a one-handed man could do it. This was your idea? Mac! It was you who told me to get the whole of the mine? It was you who said we'd get rid of the Lone Ranger by sending him to get Travis? Don't try to pin the blame on me, you polecat killer! Oh, you don't do. He wanted the claim, Sheriff. All I did was send the Lone Ranger away from town. He got Hendricks and framed Travis. He bribed Vic and Dagger to lie about seeing Travis. Then he came here to get those two so they couldn't squeal later on. He came here after he saw the saddlebag to fix things to look like the arrows had been fired from a bow. So that was your game, eh? Well, Travis, seems that the whole claim is yours. And doggone it, you've got it coming to you. You, you see, Travis, I wanted you to come back. I knew you'd be able to fix everything if you came back. That's why I sent the Lone Ranger for you. That's why I told him you were my brother. So as he'd be sure and go after you. Dorothy, you figured I'd kill the Lone Ranger. You and Mac figured you wouldn't be safe in your scheme with him around town. Why, you... Boys, take her over to the jail and lock her up with Mac. All right, come on. Take her along. Uh, uh, you're well rid of her, Travis. You know, Sheriff, she thought that she was putting something over on me. But it was her lie that I was her brother that made the Lone Ranger suspect from the first that... I was being framed. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>